Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming to you guys with some more Madden NFL 16 content here on the Hawking Regime channel. Today, back with some more of our Ultimate Budget Squad series, and I know I've been extremely inconsistent with this uh, series. That's why I'm probably going to try and implement some other stuff for the channel. Uh, one big thing that has really been positive for me in the past is card reviews, so that's something that I'm probably going to look into doing. Uh, unfortunately, I was so stupid for this. I ended up demoting myself uh, for this whole... Um, series, so I had to really climb my way back up the strings. And right now, I think I'm nearly at all Madden, but I, I mean, I've recorded all the videos. I just haven't obviously uploaded them to YouTube. So uh, it was a long way back to all Madden first string, longer than I expected it to take. So, and I didn't think I was I would want to play an all Madden first string um, as quickly as I as I have. So uh, that's a little bit of a problem. So you will see some top tier talent uh, in some gameplay at some point. I just don't know when. Um, I just don't know how much of this Ultimate Budget Squad series I, I'll uh, want to upload to you guys because there's definitely some good games. I really think I'm just going to show you guys the ones where uh, I play those top tier opponents. But, you know, I might end up not end up uh, showing uh, some of those games. I might end up just doing reviews on some of these really good budget players. Uh, really because I just want to focus on some of the better players now. Um, I'm not saying the Budget Squad series, or not saying I'm going to completely abandon budget players because I think I'm going to start doing reviews on them, to be honest with you. And that might be the best way to kind of uh, go through this end of the Budget Squad series, especially guys like Matt Hasselbeck, who probably no one will even ever play with as a quarterback. But he's got some nice stats, so uh, at least for the short pass. But we're going to get on to into the gameplay right here. I believe this, I know this is the Conference Championship. I'm just... I'm just <laughs> The conference championship but i just don't know what uh string i'm in right now i think i'm in like pro or i can't even remember i gotta be honest whoever knows uh in the beginning of the video it showed the reward for the super bowl so i mean you can figure it out by then but uh i just don't know what it is but here we go and in this game uh we are running the 46 defense which is um uh not, i mean not, we're not running the 46 playbook on defense but we're running uh basically the only are exclusively the 46 out of the cowboys defense uh, the 46 formation. They have like the 46. Uh, I think it's like the normal. It might actually be just. I, I think it's just 46 actually because there's like three different kinds. There's like bear under, bear, um, and normal. Maybe it's bear. Maybe we're running 46, 46 bear actually. But uh, offensively, we're running Minnesota. So, uh, you know, I try to keep things a little bit different than what everybody else does. Everybody else seems to run split close. Uh, you know, four verticals, inside zone all day. Inside zone, really, it's hard to not run that, though, because, like, there's really not a whole bunch of run plays uh, in this game that work successfully. But pass plays, there's definitely a variety of them, and people tend to stick to uh, split close and four verticals, which is an uh, interesting tendency. And, you know, you would think uh, you would try, people would try to, like, make themselves appear different when they play the game, which is what I try to do, to be honest. Another reason why I made a budget squad, you know, just to separate myself again from the, uh, you know, group of normal people that would just have really stacked teams. But um, I know, I, I guess that's, that, that's just the way it is right there. I actually ended up cutting this whole clip because I, uh, it was just a boring drive. He only got three out of it. So we get the ball back. And uh, right here, Jeremy Langford on the toss play. And once again, I've praised Jeremy Langford so many times in my video. If you're really struggling, like at finding a solid halfback that can that just you know he can't catch, uh, he's just not fast enough, or your running back, you know, he can't truck or or whatever. I mean, Langford is is just an absolute monster. If you're playing the higher strings, there's no reason you shouldn't have him as a backup just to sub in. I mean, if your running back has 94 speed and at least 79 catching, then by all means stick with him. But if you don't, you know, Jeremy Langford is an excellent backup and can go into tons of situations because of his speed. Uh, I think Walter Payton is like a guy, it's actually funny, like yeah, I'm comparing Jeremy Langford to Walter Payton, but Langford I know has like 79 catching, and so does Walter Payton, and Walter Payton also has 94 speed, uh, and like that's a whole, that's an enormous coin difference, like 150,000 coins more. So, um, you know, I'm not saying he's a replacement for Walter Payton, but he's definitely a solid player, especially in the open field. He should uh, get a pretty similar amount of separation from the defenders like uh, Walter Payton does. I'm not actually certain what his acceleration is. That might play into, uh, you know, how far he can get uh, from the defenders chasing him. But still, you know, an excellent budget halfback. Like, there's, I mean, there's a lot of really good budget halfbacks. Thomas Rawls, I think, is another guy that you could look into if you're struggling at halfback. There's just a bunch of options, I think. David Johnson's another beast. There's really, you don't really need to go out and get, um, you know, a Chris Johnson, uh, um, you know, Walter Payton, 
uh, you know, Curtis Martin, those guys, I mean, not Curtis Martin, but you know what I mean, Bo Jackson, Eric Dickerson, Emmett Smith, those are really pricey cards. So uh, there's really no need to go out and get those guys. Even if you have the money to spend it, like, why would you? I feel like defense is, a, is, the, is the place to go. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually buying a lot of really nice defensive players of high overall, and that's what I can't wait to show you guys. Hopefully my defense is pretty legit by then. Uh, it's not bad now, but I want to continue to work on some blitzes I've been finding. So uh, right here, you know, going to be the conclusion of the game. <laughs> we are winning 28-3. to The biggest reason why I wanted to show this game, though, is because I wanted to kind of do a little transition from this to the Super Bowl, which is going to be coming next video. Hopefully sooner than uh, it is last week. It seems like I'm doing one video a week, which is not what I plan on doing. But, uh, you know, my schedule gets busy, so I can't really do much about it. But uh, thank you, everybody who's, uh, who has subscribed to my channel, by the way. I think we were like 365, which obviously uh, not a crazy amount. Oh, and one last thing. We've actually been a year on YouTube making the videos. So thank you, everybody who has supported me throughout this time. I know guys like Rap God, D5T7, Big Boss Gaming, just to name a few of the earliest subscribers I've had to my channel. I uh, just want to thank you guys. So that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thanks for watching.